How you guys doing? My name is Joseph Charles Cohen, the new face of art, time priced art. Now, the paint that you see right now, out of 300 different war paints, out of every single canvas war paint I have, this is new colors. This color has never been on my face before. This is like, it looks white, but it's actually light blue. That's there, it's a light, light blue. It looks white. I don't know why it looks white, but it's, it's light blue. And the middle is kind of a reddish, kind of dark, dark black. Kind of like, a, I don't know what that is. Same thing here. This is kind of a gray. Then there's the gold thing that's always on the face and then this is uh, another color so the color combination you see on my face is brand new never been done on any canvases so the last 30 canvases you're gonna see this more and more and I really like this color up here I really like that see that a lot this color so this is canvas 71 brand new paint brand new just got it brand new Ben Nye theatrical face paint so I don't know what it's gonna look like we'll see interesting you know I watched a uh, six-part documentary kind of thing called on uh, rules of abstract and I realized that my art is abstract and I watched all six parts and you could watch it on YouTube the rules of abstract and not one, not one or any rule they had applied to me, even though my thing is abstract, it's just, even though my art is abstract, it just, it was just amazing that I couldn't find any reference in all six parts of that, which is like an hour long. I'm going to actually watch the whole series again to see if I missed anything. But you can watch it up on YouTube. We have it up there. The rules of abstract. Because my art is all kind of abstract. But it's done in a way that uh, of abstract that's never been done in basically the history of the world. Uh, clean up your mess, Chuck. So this war paint, brand new, brand new colors, never been done before. Too bad I don't see the, you know what, maybe, maybe in this corner I'm going to have some of that blue. can't see it. Actually, I want to paint this a little bit in that corner. I was trying to get the blue, but you know what? 
It's got painted a little bit longer than it should have. Usually it's one shot, but so be it. Now, Mr. Chrome, do I do this one, the first one that's upside down? So the triangle fits in there perfectly. I swear I'd never do that. What? I'm telling you guys. Isn't it just right? You know what? Let's just go for it. No question. It. Let's just do it. This is the only one because I'm telling you, it looks right. This is this is just. This is the only painting of all my paintings that will be upside down. And it's for a good reason. Do I add some red across the bottom? Do I add, you know, do I add red across the bottom of my face? I want this to be special. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Not of all. Since this is the first one with the, every single one doesn't have these colors. You know what, it looks so right. It's upside down. I painted it this way. This is the only painting out of all my paintings that's bent to be hung upside down. It's too bad the bottom of that triangle didn't. But you know what, remember, the, that's the best I can get it, guys. Show you the fingerprint. That's a unique looking fingerprint. This has got that kind of in the middle of the one side there. Well, it looks good. That gold streak is right there up here. It's a gold streak. Can you see it there? I just realized I painted the gold streak out. Oh my god. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. I guess this one is, oh, <laughs> really painted, like, usually I don't touch them so many, like, I actually painted this one, and so now you get a good gold, piece of gold streak, that's your gold streak right there, let's try to zoom it in, right there, you see, that's your gold, it's not much, but it's the ounce of gold today forever, and this one looks so good. This is probably one of the, probably going to be one of the most popular ones because it's up technically painted this way from the face, then over paint. Let's just, just take a look at this. Wow. Let's 
this is the um, this is probably the masterpiece of every single one And every single one or maybe just because I'm not used to those colors it's just and remember it's upside down printed but the low that in the middle is right side up so it just works and I swore I'd never do anything but if you ever see this in the future with your own eyes You'll understand why I do it, because it's just perfect. Just the colors and everything. And remember, I have no. And the thing is, with the abstract, they had a big thing on that uh, on the six-part series on the rules of abstract kind of thing. Is where people perceive colors and stuff like that and every single artist they had on there just like they put the color on exactly god this just looks so i don't know what this is it's just I'm telling you guys wow this one if my art goes all over the world and if people are buying it like crazy this is the one now we need an ounce price to match it to match it let's see you know we're gonna break the rules again on my channel we're gonna have my head turn sideways the way you see the thumbnails the, technically that's a thumbnail so this canvas gold bar that's is painted beautifully Maybe I should put some red on this side. You know what? I'm not going to touch it because I can't because that's the gold just on that side. Uh, $1,943.63. $1,943.63. That's what this particular painting is. Gold has come down $100.00. Basically from last week. So my last painting that's a 2000. Because imagine if gold just comes drops and drops and drops. If gold does drop and drop. And remember my canvas. And it happens to be the most two expensive paintings. Is the Blade Runner ones. Which is funny. If gold. You know. These are done about February. 2021 and if gold never goes back that high again uh, I have two canvas gold bars that go up two thousand dollars every day for ever and one's gonna be mine I'm gonna keep that for my retirement if this ever gets big number 71 Somebody owns number 71 in the future. I have to just authenticate it with this number 71. Canvas gold bar. And in the back from the factory is a little dirty on this side. A little dirty on the side, and I don't know what that is. It's from the factory. I tried to, I was gonna walk, try to wash it off, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's right there. There, I unwrapped it from that, like that. And this is the way the box looks in case somebody's trying to look at the somebody tries to copy this. I doubt, God, that looks good. That looks good, guys. focus better there we go yeah it's just beautiful this is wow gonna be looking 
about this all week. Nobody really looked. Oh, it's just in the corner now. bottom corner right there is a little smudge uh, different I don't know what it is or it's nothing you know there where's it again right there it's nothing it's just look like a different color but maybe I don't know oh wow does that look good Time is our friend. Time is our ally. Every art that is in, owned by people that own a Joseph Charles Collin is time priced art. Canvas gold bars at the ounce price of the day of the video being made, the painting being made. When I'm done this painting, this video literally takes a minute or two to get up onto YouTube so you're actually watching this being done live technically in a way well no you're not done you're, you're seeing the video being done live kind of thing but just knowing that I finished the painting and I upload it and you know it was just done so the counter in every single painting and the description counts the days and the times the ounce price this particular one, $1,943.63 times the days forever. Any collector, any gallery, anybody in the world, any government official that's trying to appraise art, any appraiser in the world, it's simple. I don't care how any single person values art in the world. My art is different. My art is 100% different. The value is the price I raise forever on every single video long after I'm gone. Those prices will keep on going. If this particular video survives 3,000 years, 5,000 years, 10,000 years, 20,000 years, 100,000 years, who knows? Who knows where this video in the world will end up? And maybe it'll disappear one day. I don't know. This image, long after this painting's gone, this image in this corner right here, in this corner, will take over as the image of the art. Uh, long after this turns to dust or disappears or whatever, or they find some technology in the future to reproduce it right down to the atom molecule. I don't care. It might sound crazy, but I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do in the future. You know, if you told me 30 years ago, there'd be a worldwide internet and people will be watching my videos on it. I probably would have thought you're nuts. Cam school bars. Paintings by the ounce price every single day for. Oh, is that your hair sticking straight out? <laughs> right, right underneath the logo. See the logo there? Yeah, I gotta get a haircut. Joseph Charles Collin. This art is upside down. What? It's meant to be like that. And it's going to be the only one. Never rule it out in the next 28 of them or so. Never rule it out. There will be another one upside down. But this, you know, I'm going to name this one upside down. This is the name of this video, upside down. Looks beautiful. I'm looking at it right now, guys. And it's just, if you could just, you know, the video... Doesn't do it justice. The the color, you know, the the way the the video gets reproduced and shown to you, whatever device you're watching, it doesn't do it justice when you're looking at the colors and just and just to know that I painted with my face and I did it, and it just 
This is the masterpiece. It's the masterpiece. It's my masterpiece worth every penny. If you own this piece of art sometime in the future, thank you so much for believing in my art and liking my art. It's not for everybody. Uh, you know what? Let's change the profile right. That's as far right as it goes. You can see the paint on the side there a little bit better. So it kind of looks. Um, not much else to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's 2020, 08, 16. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Upload this so it stays in this today. Technically, if it waited 15 minutes, it'd be 2017. Could use a 7 for luck, right? It would upload to 15 minutes, anyways. So I'm filming this at 11:42. Uh, 2016, what if I let it run, it's 21 minutes, so if I let this run, uh, 2017 for 7, it'd be good luck, right? And then would the ounce price go up again after midnight here? It's 15 minutes, so we'll just call it, keeping 2016, yeah, that's it, new color, new color, this is the way my art is, it's uh, priced by time, it's the only art in the world that's like that, I'm the only artist crazy enough to do that, I'm the only artist in the world crazy enough to put war paint, and put it on canvas, and new medium canvas everything's new about it nothing like it and a story every piece of art in the world is over there no disrespect to any artists out there but uh, your art if it's priced and the way the world prices it it's over there just Charles Collins art time price art is over there all by itself all by its lonesome Thank you so much for watching. Just trust call the new face of art. We're done. I gotta upload this like literally in minutes. So, so it's in 2016, 2020, 16th of uh, August. Thanks for watching. Anything else? Anything else? Show everything. We're good. We're good. We're good. Thank you for watching. Just trust call the new face of art. Time, price start.